and welcome to Patty Knits and Spins. I'm your host, Patty. You can find me on Ravelry. I am Patty Stand. You can find me on Instagram. I am Patty Sand 631. So if you follow me, I'll follow you. Today is July 24th, 2018, and this is episode 75. Where in the heck have I been? On today's show, I have a finished object to show you. I have a couple of works in progress, and I have some retreat news. So sit back and relax. Grab your beverage of choice. I'm doing water today. Your craft of choice, and let's chat. So, what's been going on, you may ask? But firstly, I want to put this out, that if you're looking for cross-stitch, there is no cross-stitch, but I hope that you will stick around to see the pretties that I got on my retreat in Nashville, Tennessee. I just got back from that retreat on Sunday night at 11.45 and I left here Tuesday morning at 1.20 in the morning. So yeah, it's a long flight for me. It's about 12 hours, about with the layovers and things. It can be 12 hours. On the way down, the flight went a lot faster. Must have been a good push in air. But on the way back, we got in about right at the time. In Anchorage, we did leave. I think we left almost 10 minutes early because everybody was there and we were just ready to go because I did get in. They say that the flight between Fairbanks and Anchorage is about 40 minutes, even though they say it's an hour. And we left early and got in 15 minutes early from their scheduled arrival time. So the flights were really good. Everything went fine. I had a really great time. Um, yeah, I really did. I had a blast at the retreat. If you've never heard of this retreat, it is the Knit Girls Summer Super super summer knit together retreat it's called ssk it is held in nashville tennessee about the same time every year this was their seventh year and this one was my third and final time it is a bittersweet but i just no longer 12 hours flying time is hard on me um, with my stomach ailments and having to watch what i do and my nervousness flying by myself i just can't do it anymore and the cost is kind of high for me as well. Flying out of Fairbanks to the lower 48 is expensive, so I'm not going anymore. So it was nice. I actually got out and did more this time. Had some really great food. M met up with some really nice ladies. Met some new friends. Hung out with old friends. And that's what retreats are for. Retreats are for having a good, good time. And this retreat also lit a fire back to my knitting bug so my knitting bug is flying high so that's a really good thing because it's been a while since i've consistently knit anything or finished knitting anything and you'll see you will see what i mean this is like my third time trying this so my throat is dry so i'm gonna have to drink more and i'm sorry about that but that's just the way podcasting goes I finished a project that I started last year but I'm gonna give myself some leeway because this project I only knit on during my knit nights on Wednesday night so this is da -da -da -da, a sock head slouch hat by Kelly McClure it is a free pattern on Ravelry it uses fingering weight I used bad sheep Yarn Company in the Sunset Silhouette colorway in which I turned one of the ladies on to Bad Sheep at SSK because she loved the colorway. I told her, you know, to look it up on the internet and she, or she did. She looked it up and she loved all the colorways. So that's really cool. I'm glad to see that a local, and this is local to me. So it was really cool to, to do that. 
I knit this on a US 2, 2.75 millimeter, and I knit it bigger, longer than what it calls for because I used 91 grams out of my 100 gram ball. And I left the, I handed out the nine gram. I said, anybody want it? Someone took it and that was perfect. So I didn't come home with this yarn at all. But yeah, it's very cute. This is my second sock, set, sock head hat. And, oh, sorry. And it is, it is a good hat to knit when you're with a group of friends because you just knit, 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 knit in the round constantly after you do the, the pearl, of course, or the ribbing. Good grief. Can you tell it's been a while since I've done a knitting podcast? Yes. So that is what I finished. I wove in the end at SSK on Saturday night. So that was great. Kind of wish I had started a new project because I had not started a project to replace this one. I had another project that I started at SSK, but that one was not conducive to knitting on the plane. So I watched TV, the movies and stuff instead, which I wish Alaska would. I fly Alaska Airlines and they need to switch their movies out because a lot of the movies that were on their little DV player were there in February when I flew back from Hawaii. So I had already seen several of those movies like, really dudes, you need to switch them out. But, oh well. The thing that I'm knitting on, as you've, I've flashed you a couple of times, is the Chevron Shenanigans by Stephen West. I am knitting these on a US 7 4.5 millimeter because I am doing this in worsted weight, hand spun. Yes, hand spun. It's so fun to knit with hand spun. So, and this is going to be a five ball, five balls. So you can kind of see that this is the first ball. It transitioned, faded into the second ball. And then the second ball, let's see, it was the second ball. The second ball ran out a lot faster than it should have. So I hardly had any of non-transition when I transitioned into the third ball. Or no, the second, okay, I'm really sorry. The first and second balls were fine. It was the third ball that transitioned faster. So there we go. Let's go way down here again. So here's the transition, knit, transition, knit, transitioned into the fourth ball. And here's the fourth ball. And then I'm going to put this pop of blue in there with the blue, the green, and like the goldish orange. So I think it'll be really a nice project. Uh, this is a fun project that once you have it, you have it. Uh, except for when you come back from a retreat and you forget that you were supposed to do an increase. Yeah. I was supposed to do an increase at the beginning of the row. <laughs> and I've already knit all of that. So, oh well, I'll just fudge the increase later. Because, yeah, you can do that. So, retreat and goodies, because that's what I did before. Oh, and this one is living in a big fat squirrel bag, which is the Christmas bag, and it will be replaced with one of my purchases that I made at SSK Market. So, at SSK, if you get there Wednesday in the morning, Joe sets up a three-hour tour of the craft stores in Nashville and she's done this for a while I didn't go the second time I went which was the f two years ago because I just wasn't feeling well so I didn't participate which made me very sad but but shoot hold on I split my yarn and I'm back uh, this is the third time I've tried to do this section of it. So my stitch was a, 
I only picked up one of the two plies, so that's why it looked weird. Um, Joe does a three hour tour of three craft stores and lunch with everybody. So she arranges rides for everyone. I want to say thank you to Knit Circus or Spotted Circus. Spotted Circus. I'm sorry, Spotted Circus. She was a vendor at SSK and she also had a van. So she took myself and three others. So there was five of us in the van and it was very nice. We went to Craft South and at Craft South it's mostly a fabric store. There was some yarn and some cross stitch stuff, but I didn't buy anything from Craft South because I wanted to be very conservative with my money before SSK started because I knew I wanted to spend some money at SSK to the vendors that, uh, you know, they give door prizes and things. So I wanted to make sure I bought from the vendors at SSK. So I didn't buy anything at Craft South. Really nice store, great fabrics, but yeah, I didn't need any. So what I did, then we went to Bliss and at Bliss, I looked around and looked around. They had this really cool package. It was an Erin Lane bag, stitch markers, and some hand-dyed yarn from Tennessee. But I decided I had yarn almost that color, so I didn't want to pick that up. But what I did find is this Erin Lane bag with Dr. Seuss characters. Very cool bag. I really like it. And it's a good sock size. Very nice, nice square bottom. So I was very, very happy with that purchase. And then we went to House of Yarn. And House of Yarn got me. So at House of Yarn, I picked up the, the sweater quantity of Elizabeth, Elizabeth Lavole Silky Wool. And let's see, in this blue color. And what I am knitting is the Bee Keek First cardigan on a size 7, 4.5 millimeter. And ooh, that's really washing out. It is blue. There we go. It's that color. And I, this was supposed to be knit <laughs> during SSK. Yeah, the first day on Wednesday, I cast it on and did the setup row and went, okay. I'm ready for bed and I went to bed <laughs> so Thursday and Friday and Saturday I worked on this off and on but it was dark and I'm reading the pattern off of the paper and if I couldn't see it very well oh I may have to back up some shoot I just saw an error this whole row was too fast so yeah, this last this last row here is probably gonna have to get pulled. That really sucks because <laughs> I've already I had knit two rows to, to here and then backed it out yesterday. No, yeah, on Monday, and I backed it out Monday and re-knit all of that. So it's a fast pattern, but now I've got to back it all the way back out need to back it out to here, do two more rows, and then start it again. Oh, dang it. Mm. Oh, well. Oh, well. Anyway, so I bought the silky wool for the beekeeper's cardigan, which is by Marie Green. And I said I was knitting on a US 7, 4.5 millimeter, out of silky wool. And it... I don't know if anybody did it. I haven't looked to see if anybody made it in four days. So people were also starting boxies, but they were not going to finish the boxies in four days. So then as I'm at the cash register to buy things, this bag by Black Cat Bags screamed at me. I mean, it just hollered, you need to take me home. So there's a little kitty cat pull. Thank you. And then the sheeps. And it's really nicely done. Very, very nicely. It's Vicky with no E at Gmail. 
That's who this is. And look at those sheep. Look at those sheep. And on the inside, it's just nice swirly bits. But it's very thickly padded. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is just very, very thick, luscious bag. So, yeah. So, this will be great for a nice big project. And then I saw Volmise in the wild. I have never seen Volmise in the wild. And it was probably a really good thing that I did not see Volmise because she had DK, but it was somewhere else and I didn't see it when I bought the silky wool because I probably would have bought the DK instead of the silky wool. But I did pick up some Volmise Pure in this pink. So I'll bring it in because, yeah, I can't, I have no idea what the name of that is. But it's red. Yeah, there we go. It's red and then pink, light pink, and then that big pop of fuchsia. So pretty, so pretty. And then I bought some old rusted chair and tough sock super wash 7525. And geode. So this is sock yarn for the hubsters. So there's some sp spots but it's let's see there we go let's go back here so it's a it's a good man color I think it's dark almost like a taupey gray maybe with a hint of I'm never good at describing colors but yeah because I had to buy something for the hubster what am I gonna get to it I don't know but eventually I will so then Wednesday was opening ceremonies. So we went Wednesday morning to South Craft South. We went to Edley's for lunch, went to Bliss, and then to House of Yarn. So at three o'clock we got back and it was time to check in to get our goodie bag and any other extra purchases that we made. I purchased extra the, the water bottle. So here's my water bottle. I get the bottles when I go. So I have three. And I bought the t-shirt. Been there, bought the t-shirt? Yeah. So here's the t-shirt. Uh, it's freshly washed because I wore it. I wore it home on Sunday to keep the then knitting feelings alive. So there's the t-shirt. And that was all inside the goodie bag. Let me tell you. The goodie bag. Yes. I love these goodie bags. So here's the big bag. And it's a great size. As you can see, it's a great size. Um, nice big front pocket. There's a small inner pocket. Here's a nice inner pocket. What do we got in there? Oh. Some other things I gotta talk about. Okay. So, zipper. And in the goodie bag is a fan. A fan. And what's really cool about this fan is it does this and it slides closed. So you can fit it in your purse. Look at that. See? Nice. It pops back out. And then it's got a little slat so it'll fit. Just like that. Oh, very nice. That's for later. And then there was a tin. And in this tin is a lot of goodies. In the tin and anything else? No. So we've got the tins with a little magnet. And there's two needles, and then there is little scissors. Cute. A row counter. 
a tape measure, three different cable needles. I'll show you this little pin. Cable needles. Point protectors, there's one, two, three, four. So there's two sizes of point protectors. A pencil and a pair of curved scissors. Let's see. Mm. Oh, curved scissors. Let's see, in a little, little curve. Very nice. So that was in the tin. Gotta put this just right or it won't close. There's also a little key ring of business cards and on the business card one of them was that. So I have it living in this box. There is some hand dyed knit dyed hand knit cards. So if you're giving them as presents it you read off the back that it was knit for with the fiber content and if any in special instructions. From Simply Sock is a needle gauge. A beautiful skein of hand dyed yarn by Stranded Dye Works in the solo colorway. She comes all the way from England. pretty and then this is really really cool this is a rainbow colored um, tape so it's that tape that you can reuse very cool so rainbow yay and a little tin so that you can put your stitch markers in which says I make pretty I make string pretty. There we go. With SSK. And a charger. So you've got this great charger with the cables. And the cable. So that is really nice. Oh, I had it upside down, sorry. There we go. So that is really, really nice. I need to get that all charged up. So you can put it on your key ring if you want, or in your purse, or whatever, you've got it. So that was the goodie bag, which is, I think, pretty cool. And we had, oh, and there was a table where you could drop whatever you wanted and pick up whatever you wanted for free. So I brought some of my sock ends, just little balls of yarn that I didn't want anymore because I don't do blanket. I don't do a, a sock blanket. So I picked up this foot. So it's another needle gauge. Pretty cool from a good yarn. So there's that needle gauge. And we had a stitch marker swap so I made some, a, a stitch marker I did a sunshine I don't think I have it here no it was a sunshine out of shrinky dink so that's what I traded and I got some really great stitch markers so here they are tons and tons and tons of stitch markers this one was part of it as well. And there was a very kind lady named Carol that she did this stitch marker swap, but she did a bag. So there was this beautiful bag and this tag. And she's from California, so she wanted beach things. So 
Then there was a bag of stitch markers. So she did do with stitch markers. So here is the bag of stitch markers. So you see there's California in there. What else is in there? There's a surfer dude, pale, all sorts of them. I haven't pulled it out, obviously, but isn't that beautiful? It's so nice of her. It was just, it was, I was shocked. There was candy. I almost think that actually that little, my make pretty string was in here. I think that this was actually in this bag. Then there's a frog. <laughs> And I still have a chocolate bar. Yes, I do. Bad girl. So that's that one. And then a, another friend, Choco Cat Mom, handed out some um, measuring tapes. So I got a measuring tape from her. So that was exciting. So Wednesday night was opening ceremonies, and there is a Door prize drawing. I did not win anything that night. Wah, wah. That's okay. I'm fine with that. So, Saturday, Friday, I'm sorry, Thursday, I didn't do anything but knit and hang out with friends. Friday, I had a class with Laura Nelkin on the Novus sweaters design. She's called the Novus design, and she's made several sweaters. If you go to her um, Ravelry group, Laura Nelkin, and she's got a coupon code for the Novelty, N-O-V-E-L dash T, that if you go to Craftsy and use that coupon code, you can get 50% off of that, um, the yarn and the pattern, but it will be on your Craftsy account, it won't be on your Ravelry account. So, when I got home, I picked up that it's coming. And I purchased two more of her Novus constructed sweaters because she was giving a coupon code for people who took her class. It's a very interesting concept. You have to look at it. It's knit from side to side. And they're beautiful sweaters, lace. She's got some lightweight sweaters. She's got some cardigans, pullovers. It's really, it's very nice. You should check it out. And she's a great teacher. She's wonderful. She's funny. She's from New York. She's funny. She is. And she's a self-proclaimed hippie. So, and she is uh, a clothing designer. She did graduate clothing design. She makes her own clothes, but she used to weave a lot. And she doesn't weave anymore because she had a child. And now she knits. So she is a knitwear designer. So very nice it was a great class I would highly recommend taking a class from her she also does I'll show you in because I did purchase one of her kits so you want to see what I got at SSK marketplace so when you go you get a bag to put your wares in I think it's pretty good all my stuff fit in the bag one bag two trips but one bag so the very first thing I picked up was this bag. I have a kit in here already to go that I want to knit. So this one is a bag from Star Knits. And it's Zombie Kitty. Look at that. Or Skeleton Kitty. Or, no. Day of the Dead Kitty. There we go. It's Day of the Dead Kitty. This one was one of my, uh-oh, is it going to come off? Oh, there we go. This is one of the ones I got in the stitch marker exchange. I just stuck it on here because I didn't have my, my thing of stitch markers. And inside, some really pretty fabric. And she's also got it, where if it's, she's got a center, let's see if I can do it. There we go, center panel. So if you have two balls, you can put two in here or your project on one side and the ball on the other side. And then I got a pin as well. There we go. 
So that was my first purchase. I usually try to walk around the market first to see what I like and then go back. Um, I didn't do that with this one because I saw the bag and I wanted the bag. Because bags seem to go fast when you want them. And then I went to the Spotted Circus, which was the lady who drove me around. And she had two sock blanks. This is a 80-20 Superwash Merino Nylon in the Black Neon Rainbow. So it's hand-painted sock blank so it's pink orange green blue so that's so pretty but it's a thicker sock yarn so I was gonna start this uh oh what happened I was gonna start this on the trip but I had my 2.25s so my ones instead of and I think I'm going to go up to a size 2 2.75 because this is pretty thick yarn so I'm going to start that for my knitting group knitting that one okay and now it's going to be all out of order. So when you walk in, before you walk in, there's a little table set up. And on that table was House of Yarn. So House of Yarn gives you a little baggie. And you get a discount code. You get a discount card. They gave us the discount before SSK started. So they gave us the discount on Wednesday when we went and so did Bliss. So I appreciate that they did that. That Bliss and... House of Yarn gave us a discount. So there's a little stitch marker. Very cute. Little piece of candy, which I have not eaten. So, and that's what we got from House of Yarn. Okay, and Bliss did the same, but I don't know what happened to it offhand. Ah, there's Bliss. So this is Bliss's little package. So you get 20% off at Bliss and at House of Yarn. So you got a little baggie of candy. Very nice. Okay. I'm trying not to make a mess here. to Ross Farms after I bought the bag I went to Ross Farms and I found this cool stitch marker holder so you've got this side center and more room so this is really a cute little stitch marker holder or maybe a small sti uh, sticky notes or scissors or whatever so I thought that was really a nice idea and that was by exchangefire.com and it's called a oh it doesn't say it just says who the person is so if you want something like that oops and it's got a I just didn't snap it closed there we go Uh, and then I went to, let's see, where did I go to next? Vesper. Vesper yarn. And I picked up this one. This is Midnight Bonfire. And then I picked up a bag from her as well. I Heart Yarn. Don't we all heart yarn? I think so. I went to Miss Babs and picked up some Estherlita fingering weight in the deep sea jellyfish. I was going to buy some. Oh, Yowza. Yeah, I was a gain enough to buy a sweater's worth. I was going to do that. 
but since I picked up the sweaters worth for the beekeeper, I decided not to. So there's deep sea jellyfish and sparkles. I picked, went to tufted ones, and I picked up some sock soap. Oh, oh there it is. I picked up sock soap in the sugar skull. Oh, that is such a beautiful scent. So this is Tufted Woolen Sock Soap. So you just wash your soap and your socks in that. I bought some Sugar Skull hand lotion. And I bought, they didn't have that, but they had burnt sugar in their lip balm. And I haven't tried the lip balm yet, but the hand, the hand lotion, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Kind of wish I had grabbed two of the Sugar Skull hand lotions. I wish I had kept the other one because I would have I definitely wish I had done that. I went to the Laura Nelkin booth and I picked up the kit to make that. She likes, she also does beaded um, jewelry. So I have that. And then she had this really cute little travel beading kit. Which comes with two teeny, teeny, teeny crochet hooks. And a dental floss, if you need that. So you can put your beads in here and you can put your beads on that way. So that's a, oops, yeah, that was right. So I got that at Lauren Nelkin's booth. Then I went to the Fat Squirrel. I fell down at the Fat Squirrel, people. I fell down. So I first saw this bag, and who doesn't love, what is this, neon? Or, yeah. Rainbows and unicorns with castles and trees. This is her sock bag size. And I love Amy Beth stuff. Because it's all lined with white. It's all like a canvas. It's great material. And then I was two people away from paying. And I saw this bag hanging behind her. And I said, are you holding that bag for anybody? And she said, no. Do you want it? And I said, yes. And the woman in front of her says, I was going to ask her that. I'm like, mm -hmm. I got it first. I did offer to give it up. I said, if you want it, you can have it. I don't need it. I just like it. But if you want it, you can have it. And I would have been more than happy to give it to Kelly because Kelly is awesome. But that's, look at this. Look at these guys. Look at them. They're llamas. They're so cute. And then the white in the inside. So this is not canvas, it's upholstery fabric, sorry. Okay, look at that. And then I happened to look down. So I got the last of the, I think I got the last of this one. I got the last of the llama. And I looked down and I got the last of her library fabric. So oh, and this one is in her big one. This is the biggest, so this is this, like the Aran sweater, I think. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do this. I really wasn't gonna buy these bags. Ah, I was only gonna get one, but three. Yay! Because I like big projects. This is what I'm gonna put the Chevron shenanigans in when I'm done. But look at that. Isn't that awesome? This is a bag that's hard to get a hold of, this library fabric. Because everybody loves this library fabric. And then I walked around again, and I saw this one from Stranded Thigh Works, and this is Paradise. Let's see, what base is this? This is 801010 Superwash Merino Nylon and Cashmere in the Magpie colorway. Look at that. It says, Sarada, Sarah. It says Magpie back here, but it says Paradise. Paradise must be the yarn name. And the colorway is called Magpie. 
Isn't that pretty? So pretty. So then it was time for me to, to leave the room and I left the room and they closed it down between noon and one to let the vendors eat. So I kept seeing this bag and this bag kept calling to me. So I went back into the room and I bought from Whimsy Stitches on Etsy. So it's Whim Whimsy Stitches, Etsy.com, Exploding Tardis. I got an Exploding Tardis. Yay! And this was the last of this size he had. I didn't want the bigger size. I wanted the smaller size. So it was on the shelving behind him. I said, can I have that? He's like, yes. Yes, you may. And then I got a TARDIS stitch marker. So, yeah, I made out like a bandit, I think. Because I don't need any more bags. I don't need any more yarn. <laughs> I think I did good, though, because I only came back with four new skeins from SSK. And then from Bliss, <clears throat> Sweater Quantity, and those other two. So I think, or not Bliss, House of Yarn. I think that that's pretty good. I think I did really, really well. Oh, I forgot. So, <laughs> so that was Saturday. So Saturday night, we had another um, door prize pull. And I won this one. And this is from Stitchway Designs. And it's a pie bag. Love me some pecan pie. Another sock size. Perfect for me. I like to knit socks and shawls and stuff. So that's perfect size. And then from Acre Works, I got a butterfly orifice hook. So this is for my Hanson knee spinner. And you feed this plastic fishing line through the orifice and grab the fiber pull it back and you start spinning. So that's what I got. I won two prizes on the last night. I was so happy. So happy. Okay. Well, I only had a couple of flubs. That's not too bad. Um, and I have finished everything else. Looking around. Yes, I did. I got it all. So I hope to put out a new podcast every two weeks for my knitting. What I'm going to be working on mostly is that sweater. And then I'll cast on for the socks because I need something for Wednesday night. Um, yeah, so, oh, I forgot. See, I keep forgetting things. And at the Miss Babs, I had to pick up the ice creams ice creams. There's a watermelon ice cream. Isn't that cute? I think it's cute. So that is my SSK. Um, should say I cried a lot Saturday night saying goodbye to some friends because like I said this is going to be my last SSK. I just can't make the trip anymore because it's just too hard on the old lady. Um, sa Sunday I sat and knit with buddies until noon took the shuttle got right back home and i'm glad to be home i missed my husband and my grandsons and my son sons and my grandson there we go i'm still tired <laughs> i'm still tired so yeah that's all i got to say i will be putting up a podcast for the cross stitch in a week or two I haven't cross-stitched since I left. Um, I didn't take any cross-stitch with me at all. And I haven't started cross-stitching again. I need to do that, though. Because, like I said, I am sable in knitting, knitting spinning, and cross-stitch. So I really need to, need to start cross-stitching again. I'm hoping to tonight. So I hope that you have enjoyed this, and I hope that whatever you craft, you craft it to your heart's content. I will see you guys later.